Namaste, good afternoon, and first of all, let me thank you for inviting me to um, participate in this 10th Indian Student Parliament. It's a great honor for the CPA uh, that we are involved, uh, but unfortunately we were not able to come and be with you personally. At the CPA, we recently had our 10th Youth Parliament bringing together 50 young people from across the Commonwealth. This event uh, took place in India in October last year. It was a great uh, pleasure to see young people deliberating on a number of democratic issues affecting the Commonwealth. It is also great to see organizations like the MIT World Peace University working to strengthen democracy through a forum like this one. As you know, the CPA is a voice of parliamentary democracy across the Commonwealth and has been for over a century since its establishment in 1911, promoting uh, parliamentary development and upskilling members of parliament. It brings together 17,000 or over parliamentarians who come from 180 legislatures across the Commonwealth. The CPA is a forum which enables Commonwealth parliamentarians to reach beyond their own legislatures to contribute in a global setting to the development of the best parliamentary practices within parliament and most effective policies in government. For us, India plays a major role in this objective as the largest democracy in the world. India, which has one of the fastest growing economies in the world today, is home to a fifth of the world youth. Half of its population is under the age of 25, and a quarter is below the age of 14. India's young population is its most valuable asset. The young, people, the young people are the future of the Commonwealth. As such, India has a long recognized the importance of young people to the future of the Commonwealth society. The decision recently taken by the CPA's India region to take on the 10th Commonwealth Youth Parliament and to organize it successfully shows not only its commitment to empower its own young people, but also a wider, a wider com commitment to the development of youth beyond its own borders. To quote the words of uh, Jawaharlal Nehru, India is a country that believes that youth are like birds in, the, in a garden and should be carefully and lovingly nurtured as they are the future of the nation and the citizens of tomorrow. I would like to take this opportunity to encourage those young people participating in this convention that they have to enact change in parliament in today's world. Their role and their participation in influencing change is important for developing and shaping policies that enable, strengthen democracy and promote the well-being of citizens of the Commonwealth. The technological revolutions which are growing in frequency and advancement offer all of you the ability to reshape the world in whichever way you choose. Today, a single tweet, YouTube video, Facebook post has the potential to reach millions of people and influence change. Such messages can, at the press of button or swipe of a thumb, challenge assumption, fight complacency, or praise positive developments. And the young people being at the forefront of technology can use technology to promote fundamental values of the Commonwealth on democracy, equality, good governance, 
just and honest governments and gender equality. It is therefore uh, important that young people are at the forefront in using technology to promote these values. As a great man once said, strength does not come from physical capacity, it comes from an indomitable will. You can guess who that great man is. Yes, Mahatma Gandhi was saying that youth isn't a barrier to change. In fact, it is the fire in your heart, the energy, and the drive that you are all the counterpart lack. Use it. Don't waste it. And someone once said, youth is, a wasted, is wasted on the young. Fight the inclination to be a cliche. If you feel that changing the world is too difficult, you should remember that alone you may not be able to change the world, but you can cast a stone across waters to create many ripples. These words were by another great Indian legend, Mother Teresa. And I hope that these words will inspire you, will give you food for thought, and will inspire you on into action in terms of the influence that you can make in the world that you live in. Lastly, I want, I want to thank MIT Peace University for organizing this convention and would like to congratulate them for their youth parliament entering its 10th year. I thank you for your attention and wish you all the best during the convention. Goodbye.